Story time. This is about the Rhode Island incident, a moment in my career where I learned a lot about breakdowns and misunderstanding data. I was uh, working for a direct to consumer brand. I was asked to set up a campaign identical to one that ran the year before. So I was like, okay, I mean, I see that campaign did really well. I get it, we'll set it up, even though I don't agree with why it would work, but you know what, maybe I'm wrong. Let's challenge that. So I duplicate the whole setup. We run it again, same creative, same everything. And it tanks. It does worse than everything else we're already running. So we, we, we cut it. And I go and take a look at why did it do so well last year? I look at place and breakdowns, age, gender. And I decide, let me look at region breakdowns. Let me see what states are popping off here. That's where I hit the jackpot. The state that was driving the most conversions was the home state of that company, Rhode Island. So what we discovered was that when customers were calling to place an order or needing help placing order, customer service in Rhode Island would place the order on the website. And those people had been exposed to Facebook ads and because of, at the time, the 28-day click attribution, someone could have clicked an ad and then been responsible for dozens, if not hundreds, but dozens of conversions and thousands of dollars in revenue. And because of how it was attributed back then, it was all attributed to like one day or a couple days because it was attributed to the day of the impression, not the day of the conversion. So was able to realize, no, that campaign that we, we thought did well, didn't do well, um, which is a common problem in advertising. People look at data and they believe it. They take it as truth. You don't double click into it because, especially because it's good data, it's, performance looks great. Why, you know, people are just like, oh, that's great. So big learning from there. Make sure you look at your placement breakdowns if something is seemingly too good to be true or too bad to be true. You might find something that's not working well. Additionally, just try and be thoughtful about like how something, just anything can, can muck up your data like that that's, that's more qualitative than quantitative. And don't just take your numbers for what they are. It's really easy to just trust the numbers because they're numbers and numbers don't lie. People say stuff like that. But in reality, humans make mistakes. And humans make mistakes that impact what numbers you look at. So remember to double click in, try and understand what your data means, and hopefully you'll uh, not make the same mistakes that I did.